Pope St. John Paul II helped predator priests evade punishment while he was Archbishop of Krakow. The explosive revelations are a result of a three-year investigation by Dutch journalist Eke Overbeek in the Polish National Archives. Cultural anthropologist Stanislav Obirek told Church Militant he had confirmed the evidence as, quote, authentic. The professor said, as far as I know, many materials were not used when Pope John Paul II was being considered for sainthood. It was simply impossible given the tempo of the canonization process. Polish bishops mounted a vigorous defense of the Polish Pope days before Overbeek broke the story on Saturday. Our Rome correspondent, Dr. Jules Gomez, obtained the English translation of a significant letter from the archives, and he is here with us tonight to uh, spill the beans, as they say. Jules, thank you so much for coming on. A good evening, James. Good to be with you. Awesome. So, Jules, uh, on what basis can we regard these documents as authentic that you mentioned? And there are at least seven reasons why I would say this document is authentic. Uh, obviously, in the period of Pope John Paul II, it was common, it was the norm, it was the done thing for predator priest to be transferred. If uh, Karol Wojtyla had not done that, he would be the exception rather than the rule. Secondly, James, we have uh, histories, identities, names, and documents. Uh, for example, we have uh, the notorious homo predator, Father Eugenic Surgent, and then we have uh, Father uh, Josef Lorang, who engaged young girls in oral sex, shame to say this. We have the letter that a colleague of mine, Evelina Pochab Sharp, a Polish expert, but translated very kindly into English. And that letter is very clear about how Pope John Paul II, uh, when he was Archbishop of Krakow, uh, transfers this priest after he's been let out uh, uh, serving half his time in prison instead of sacking him altogether from the ministry. Uh, we have a seven-point defense by the Polish bishops, ah, surprisingly issued, just days before this story broke. And then we have the two experts, Father Thomas Doyle, who came up with a fantastic, I think, 95-page report in 1985, warning that wow. the homosexual thing would spread all over. And we have the other, um, uh, Phil, uh, the other cultural anthropologist, Stanislav Overbeek, yeah. who gave, uh, spoke directly to us. And we have an announcement on Advent Sunday in a number of di three dioceses in Poland about Father Surgenic, uh, you know, escapades and uh, asking for his victims to come yeah. forward. So, so, Jules, this is obviously, I think, distressing to a lot of people. A lot of people really love uh, Pope St. John Paul II. But what way does this question the hurried canonization of him? Well, uh, the secret files weren't open to independent historians uh, when Pope John, the process of his canonization was in progress. And that brings up a big question mark. Also, his very close relationships and his refusal to basically get rid of uh, the serial uh, Wow. abused the Father Marcel and, of course, uh, McCarrick. Yeah. Uh, and we have the report, uh, you know, uh, quite recently uh, speaks volumes about the question you've just asked, James. Yeah. Yeah, Jules, thank you very much for coming on. This is, uh, again, a very, I think a lot of people were floored when they first heard this story, including us. But, Jules, thank you so much for coming on.